I just finished building my combo Sesame Street. So this set is actually two of these normal sets. So this is the normal Sesame Street set. I threw away the other box because I built my normal set like a year or two ago, maybe three, and then just barely bought a second one to combine them together into creating a full 360 building. Because if you take a look at this, it has an exterior all around and like it actually has full walls, just like most other modular buildings have walls on all sides. So this is basically a modular building of Sesame Street. And if you take a look at the normal one, it's only like half the size and missing like walls over there. It kind of was just a little facade where it had a front and then the back was an open back where I kind of was not a fan of that. I wanted it to be a full city building that would actually match the rest of my buildings. So overall, that's the biggest difference. Like all the interior work is pretty much the same as the inside of here. So like you see three beds and there we take a look what it would have right there. There's two beds, Bert and Ernie's beds and their little bathroom next to it, inside their bedroom. But the best part of this building is their bathroom is actually way down there. So see, you got Ernie just uh, <laughs> enjoying the bathroom, sleeping on the floor instead of his beds. So that's that floor. And then we can take, open it up to get down one layer. So there's the bathroom down the stairs and the stairs actually match everything. And overall, not too much more to this room. It basically has the bed, which is the same bed in the train in that room. Just overall, just more of an actual living space. So I have like a bigger, whoops, living room. And once again, the bathroom. And then if we take the bathroom off, you get access to this little side shop. And this side shop fully enclosed with extra goodies that this little shop over here did not have like, <laughs> just look at that, the old classic. And I would be showing you the actual one, but I used it to build this. So I no longer have my classic normal Sesame Street. I tore it all apart to build a bigger one, which I think is definitely worth it because this building is going to match and fit much better inside my Lego city. So we put it all together, ta-da. We still have all our classic Sesame Street characters. Oops, he's gone. And we take and just put this over here, add it next to our dinosaur observatory. And then ta-da, we have a good little city. So this was a custom build. I'm working on building a tree house. It's kind of combining three of these sets into a big facade once again into a modular building versus it being a straight facade and only one-sided. So that's gonna be a full 360 built, just like we've done this one. And here we go, that's Sesame Street added to my Lego city.